uh, their uh, grit and emotion. Uh, it's kind of come out. I didn't know they had that in uh, June and July. Uh, the leadership is coming along, which is what we've been asking for for the past two months, and it's slowly coming along. Um, it's almost to where I'd like to be. It's not quite there yet, but without a doubt, their attitude and their, their effort has been bar none, uh, especially from those seniors, which trickles down to the younger guys. Yeah, how, how important... Obviously, you were at we're at Norwell the last two years. Just or, one. Just I've the been one here for ten. Okay, so I know you didn't get a chance to experience it with them last year, but um, seeing that these guys know how to win a game, know how to prepare to win a big game, how experience, how important is that experience? Seeing it now while they try to teach up some of these younger guys. No, it's huge because our whole goal from day one has been let's win that sectional championship. And in my opinion, I mean it's one of the tougher three A sectionals in the state. So in order to do anything, we have to attain that first. And yeah, these guys learned a great lesson from the seniors last year. They set a great example. Um, these guys, they do know what it takes to win. And they'll, they'll carry it on, no doubt about it. Tell me about this defense. What are you doing schematically different or that's the same? And then what are, and what are some of the biggest keys to being successful on defense for Belmont this year, keeping up that level, that championship level of defense last year? Oh, the defense has it. everybody. All 11 guys have to fly after the football uh, every single play. Uh, we've got to get every loose ball. Uh, we've got to get turnovers, uh, and we've got to tackle well. But uh, scheme-wise, uh, we run a little different. Uh, we run a 3-3 three, uh, three, three stack. It's a defense you don't see too often. We kind of got it from uh, uh, San Diego State. Uh, we kind of use a uh, what we call an Aztec, who's Caleb Hankinson. We just kind of let him float. Uh, do his thing and our mic and our D-line will eat up blocks and let Caleb do his thing. We've also uh, got a couple coverages that we can switch up. We can bring a guy in down into the box. But w what it comes down to is everybody getting to that football on every single play. How many starters do you have coming back defensively? Because I know we were kind of talking off camera about how many offense and defense. Where are you at starters both offensively and defensively numbers wise? Uh, offensively, I believe it's four. And defensively, I believe it's three, and that's they're all seniors. We don't have any underclassmen uh, coming back that I can think of right off the top of my head. Um, but those seniors set a great example for those guys, and we're coming along quickly. When you take a look at the offense, obviously you said four starters coming back, but it's always good to have your quarterback, always good to have a workhorse running back. So how much is on their shoulders, on Grant and, and Caleb's shoulders, to set the tone for this offense, considering – you know, Belmont's known for an offensive line. They love to run the football. That's going to be critical for you guys. They, they do a great job of setting that tone. And we tell our offensive line, all you got to do is shield somebody. You don't necessarily have to grind them into the ground. And we don't have guys that can do that right now. You know, we don't have the Curtis Blackwell at Norwell. We don't, we don't, not even close. We have a bunch of guys who are 180 to 200 in experience. We just got to use speed off the line, get in their way. Caleb, Bussey, Hankinson, and Becker, they'll take, they'll take over from there. Just get in their way. Get us, get us three or four, and they'll take over. Schematically, offensively, is it kind of a, if it ain't broke, don't don't try to fix it? Definitely. Um, I Schematically, offensively, I kind of let Coach Burkhalter do his thing over there. I don't mess with what he does. I mean, he's one of the best at the state at running this offense, so he does it beautifully. I leave him alone and let him do his thing. Uh, for you, what are some of the differences and some of the similarities we'll see between um, the teams that you put out there on Friday night and uh, the teams that Coach Getz put out there? Because I imagine there are some stamps i guess or you that you want to put on especially in your first year running a program like this you're not honestly you're not going to see too many things differently i a lot of what i do has come from coach gets um i'm extremely thankful for the four years that i spent with him um he was all about grit get after it be prepared those are the things that i uh try to get my coaches to understand and it's the things i do myself um so if there's any coach that i do things similar to it's definitely coach getter or uh, Coach Getz or uh, Coach Bergman as well. Final question for me. If there's one thing you guys are targeting or looking to improve upon or just really want to coach up from now until August 19th when you travel down to play Adam Central, what's that one thing that you guys want to get better at to be ready for August 19th? O-line, D-line play, without a doubt. Um, they're coming along, but we've got a long way to go. Um, we want to get to where they're comfortable with what they're doing, and they've got that confidence. They don't quite have that confidence yet. Um, hoping we can get that here in the next few weeks. Anything else you'd like to add? Nope. I appreciate it. We're looking forward to the season.